this is uh, really cheesy. Look, it's the last one they got, all right? Beggars cannot be chewers. <laughs> choosers, Joe. Beggars can't be choosers. Right, like when you bake for something, you get to choose your own food. Oh, please. <laughs> Which bed do you want? I always take the bed on the left. Why? Otherwise, I'll fall out. Look, it's a balance thing, all right? I can't explain it. Fine, I'll take the bed on the right. Jeez. What is the matter with you? My life is falling apart, Jody. I just want to crawl into a hole and die. Okay, but you got to call Dad first. No, I don't want to talk to him right now, okay? Well, not okay, Blossom. You have to call him right now and let him know that I'm not in on this little escapapade. Escapade. <laughs> That's right. Have you been reading or something? No, what are you talking about? Y your vocabulary is growing. You're, you're mispronouncing words that you never mispronounced before. You're crazy. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're like some schizophrenic or something. <laughs> schizophrenic. Probably that, too. I think it's great, Joe. Yeah? Yes, you're making a conscious effort to improve yourself. It's wonderful. Well, you know, I figure when I get to the bigs, I'm going to be getting interviewed a lot, and I don't want to come off like adult. Adult, that's right. Excellent. Oh, thank you, thank you. This is very exciting. What have you been reading? Well, I've been sticking with the classics. The uh, Lonely Schoolgirls and the Island of Blondes. <sighs> where'd you get these? From a guy on the team. He's got a whole trunk full of them. <laughs> Some of them even have pictures. Well, it's a start. Yeah. Hey, how about it, huh? Dad? Yeah, okay. Guess I better get it over with. Shh, absolutely. I mean, it is no good to progestinate. <laughs> Don't push it, Joe. Okay. So what are your plans? You're going to join the team? Maybe become a grunionette? <laughs> All right, that was rude. I'm sorry. Look, Blossom. Yes. Okay. I do appreciate the call. Fine. Make sure and deadbolt that door. Bye. That's Blossom. Yes, she's with Joey somewhere near Bakersfield. I wish I was with Joey. Really? I didn't realize you liked Joey that much. Oh, I love him. I'm going to marry him someday. Now that would be interesting. <laughs> well, now it's time for bed. Okay, Mom. Bye. Mm, good night. Good night, Kennedy. Good night. Mm, sweet dreams. Oh, there will be. I always dream about my future husband. <laughs> Don't look at me. It's your fault for having such a handsome son. Oh, where did I go wrong? You didn't go wrong. Blossom's a teenager. Teenagers are very confused people. They can't tell up from down, right from wrong. This explains the grunge look. <laughs> but Blossom's never been like that. She's always been the steady one, the adult one. And how realistic is that? Sooner or later, she had to break out on her own. Well, I wanted it to be later, like 30 years from now, when I'm too old to know what's going on. <laughs> Come on. Don't you remember what it was like to be that age? No, it was too long ago. <laughs> I just want everyone to be happy all the time. Is that too much to ask? You've raised her very, very well. You have given her everything she needs to get through this, and a lot worse. Just let it go. I wish I could. What's stopping you? The fact that she's not up in her room knitting, drinking hot cocoa. Which is fine. She's with Joey. I'm sure they're having a wonderful time. Come on, baby. Come on. Enjoying yourself? Mm-hmm. Enjoying the game? Oh, yes. Yeah. You're a pig. <laughs> what? You're like some fat old middle-aged beer-swilling t-shirt-wearing cracker-eating doofus. Watching your stupid sports while you burp and fantasize about Budweiser bimbos. <laughs> Get used to it, babe. That's a picture of your future husband. <laughs> Wrong, Potato Breath. The man I marry will be witty, urbane, and will hate baseball. Oh. Sure, until you marry him. Five years later, it's... Bob. You're disgusting. <sighs> Sticks and stones, all right? And for your information, if I ever got fat, I'd kill myself. Have some more chips. <laughs> Game's over anyway. Thank God. What is your problem, Blossom? What do you care, Joey? How about... It's no fun to share a room with Sylvia Plath. <laughs> Sylvia Plath? Was that a mistake? How do you know about her? I am astounded. This is me, astounded. You underestimate me all the time. Yes, I do, but in this case, I apologize. Truth is, 
I was dating this blonde with an incredible bubble butt who was in all that poetry junk, all right? So I learned about it so she'd think I was sensitive and sleep with me. <laughs> Astoundingly repulsive, did it work? Nah, she was so dumb she never even heard of Sylvia Plath. <laughs> so I dumped her. So you actually do have some standards? Oh, yeah. They have to be at least as smart as I am. <laughs> Gee, that opens up part of the animal kingdom. Notice how I'm not reacting to your insults. How I'm taking them all in stride? Yes, and frankly, it's a little disconcerting. What's going on? I'm worried about you. Don't... <clears throat> me, all right? I am worried. Blossom, well, this running away stuff is not like you. You know, as a matter of fact, you haven't been like you for some time now. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, you know, you've been, like, sullen and hostile. I mean, you've had this, this kind of attitude. I mean, it's, well, it's almost like you're becoming normal. Normal? Yeah, I mean, you know, most high school kids act this way. Oh, listen to the big man. Most high school kids act this way, please. See, you were always different, okay? You always... Listen to the big man. Most high school kids act this way, please. See, you were always different, okay? You always had your own inner coolness that set you apart from the average jerk, all right? It made you something better, okay? Something, uh... Ah, uh, what's the word? Um, better. <laughs> really? Yes, really. I was always very proud to have you as my kid sister. You never told me that. Of course not. It wouldn't have been cool. <laughs> well, I'm touched. I'm actually touched and offended at the same time, but... Touched wins out. That's really sweet. Yeah, well, I'm a sweet guy. <laughs> so what do you think about the engagement? I think Dad is very happy, and therefore, I'm fine with it. See, that's my problem. I want to be happy that he's happy, but I don't know. I just, I can't seem to get it. That's because you got too much of your own old stuff in the way. Wanting things to be the way they were when Mom was living with us. Sometimes I walk into that house, and I don't even recognize it. It's scary, huh? Yeah, big time. The more I think about it, the worse it gets. Well, the answer is, don't do that. Don't think about it? No, no, no. It's that old joke, you know? The patient walks into the doctor's office and says, Doctor, it hurts when I do this. And the doctor says, don't do that. <laughs> it's pretty good advice, Blossom. I mean, if it hurts, just don't do it. That is good advice. Thank you. You're welcome. That's what cool brothers are for. <laughs> Lights out, okay? Yeah. Mom, let me in. Hi. Hello? Hello? <laughs> God, you're terrifying me. Jeez. Sorry, just couldn't seem to get to you. Well, of course not. I was on an astral plane convening with the planets. Becoming one with Eddie Vedder. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt anything metaphysical. That's ah, okay. I was done with him anyway. So tell me everything. Well, how much do you know? Just your dad and Carol announced our engagement. You got all weird behind that and told him you wanted to move out. And he said, yeah, like, with who? And you jumped in a car with Joey. You guys took off, broke down somewhere in East Goonville, spent the night in some cheese motel or something. Then you were taking the bus back here today, which you obviously did, and that you decided to come over here rather than go home and face your dad. That's about all I know. Me too. Is he, like, amazingly mad at you? I don't think so. I spoke to him from the motel. So why didn't you go home? I'm not ready to face him yet. I don't want a repeat performance of last night. Yeah, I know what you mean. My mom and I have been having the same argument for over seven years now. Must be like being in the cast of Cats. Can I hang out here till I get it together? Hey, it's cool with me. You know where the sleeping bag is. I think I just want to rest for a little while. Love yourself. What is he sleeping? Who? <laughs> Who? Joey, of course. You spent the night with him, right? Well, he's my brother. So he's not mine. Did you see him naked? <laughs> Six, that is a foul thought. Oh, no. Festering roadkill is a foul thought, not Joey naked. I can't believe you'd even ask me a question like that. Well, I just thought that maybe when he was getting out of the shower, you might have inadvertently... Six. This is a nauseating line of questioning. A putrid and sickening speculation. <laughs> all right, all right. Jeez, I'm sorry. But have you ever seen him naked? Okay, that's it. I'm going home, Six. I think I'd much rather face my father than be subjected to... Hide me. I think he already saw you. Hi, Mr. Russo. Hi, Six. I'm uh, sorry to intrude, but I'd like to talk to Blossom. It'll just take a minute. Hold on. I'll get right back to you. What do you think? It's okay. Want me to stay? No, it's all right. Thanks. Hey, you'd do the same thing for me. You probably will. I won't be far away. I understand. Hi. 
Sorry to barge in on you like this, but uh, I wanted to say something to you before we did any more damage. If you want to move out of the house, that's okay with me. I'll help you. Really? Hey, it's as much for me as it is for you. I can't stand seeing you unhappy on a daily basis. Dad, I'm not unhappy about you and Carol. I'm just... I don't like changing, I guess. Well, that's kind of the way it goes. Look, I'm not totally together, okay? I, I can't promise I'll be sunshine and roses every day, but... I don't want to leave the house. It hurts when I do that. So, don't do that. <laughs> Look, I'm willing to try if you are. I love you, Dan. I love you, too. Let's go home. <laughs> You guys are so great. <laughs> Dear Joey, here is that replacement tape that I promised you of Blossom. The replacements. Ah, all right. Thank you.